Well, that plate would look great on a new EV, and there is a bunch of new ones pulling into the electric market. That includes Jeep's first all-electric vehicle, the Wagoneer S. Our auto expert Nick Miles joins us live now from New York City. Nick, hi! Hey, good morning, Ali. Welcome to the Big Apple. That's right, last night in New York City, uh, they rolled out, Jeep rolled out their very first all-electric vehicle. I'm not going to keep you in suspense anymore. I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the Jeep Wagoneer S. <gasps> 300 miles on a single charge, this vehicle. Get this, Ali, you and me in the front seat, zero to 63.4 seconds. Oh my uh, and gosh. 600 horsepower. Uh, this vehicle, panoramic sunroof, passenger screen, driver screen, 19 speakers, Macintosh sound system, 1200 watts of sound. Uh, it is quite an incredible beast. And uh, one of the things America's want is better charging times. Now, it will charge 20 to 80 percent in just 23 minutes. And that's one of the things Americans are looking for. Plus, it does qualify for the tax break under the Reduction of Inflation Act. So America's want better charging. They want uh, better range. It's qualified for those two things. Uh, they also want better charging infrastructure. That is something that the car company can't necessarily help with. But they've also given people better choices. Now, one of the things that Jeep have done is they have also the gas vehicles available. So Jeep, of course, have their regular Wagoneer, but Jeep did drop the news last night that they will have a plug-in hybrid version of this. So if electric isn't quite something you're ready for, they will do the plug-in hybrid. And they already have the number one plug-in hybrid with the uh, Wrangler and the Grand Cherokee is the number two. So electric, not quite your thing. Now, some of the figures that might interest you, Ali, is that uh, there are about 7% of cars sold in North America right now are mm. electric. Uh, Jeep are telling me that 2.2 million people are what we call EV intenders. So they intend to look at buying electric this year. There is only one company in North America that is down on electric sales, and that's Tesla. Everybody else is up, and some companies are up in like 80, 90 percent up in their electric sales this year. So even though you may have heard a lot of talk about electric vehicles being down, they're actually quite up in sales. A lot of people considering going electric. And Oregon's one of those states where electric and electrification is a real booming industry. A lot of people getting excited about the possibility of getting an electric vehicle in their garage. Now, we have the great outdoors, we have mm -hmm. Mount Hood, we have skiing, we have the beach, we have oh, yeah. the desert. We have a lot of things that we can do. So Jeep dropped another mouth drop yesterday, and that was the Trailhawk version of this, an off-road version, three-inch lift. It has the S hooks on the front, so you like carabiners for the tow hooks. It has a roof rack, which is laser cut, so you can put your ski gear or your beach gear on the roof. It is going to be able to deep uh, water forward, so you can drive into water with this vehicle. There is a lot of very cool accoutrements inside this vehicle. Now, the Wagoneer S does come with those 19-speaker Macintosh sound system. It does come with that passenger screen. It does come with a lot of extra luxury features in it as well. So electrification doesn't mean boring, slow. It can be exciting, fast, and it all starts at around 72,000 fully equipped. They will have a less expensive version coming later on this year. That is amazing. Oh my gosh, you had me at Jeep. I am such a softie for a Jeep. They're the best things and I, I'm, oh my gosh, I need one soon. And also Nick, you're traveling internationally quite frequently. Do you know if or when the Wagoneer S is available in the States? Yes, yeah, so it's gonna come this fall. We're expecting the tra Trailhawk version to come later on this year. Where it, orders are open today from Jeep for this vehicle. Uh, they say it will ship sometime late this fall and the Trailhawk version maybe early next year as well. So if you order today, you could expect delivery probably November, December sometime. Well, it sounds like the best vehicle to really cruise around the PNW in, and that's what we need here. So, Nick, thank you so, so much. That's our auto expert, Nick Miles, of course, live from New York City. You can follow his reports anytime by visiting testmiles.com. And thanks for stopping by again, Nick. Thanks, well, Ali. See you, see ya. <laughs>